We have team coverage on what will likely be an emotional game for fans who are not ready to say goodbye to the team's home in Oakland. First, let's get to Vern Glenn. He's inside Oracle. The Warriors getting us some star players back tonight. That's good news, Vern. Yeah, Alan, you know, the narrative coming into this place was, yeah, this could be the last home game for the Warriors at Oracle, period, as they move into San Francisco next year. And then, wow, uh, I'll give credit to the wonders of science and pain tolerance. Now, Clay Thompson with the injured hamstring, we expected him to play tonight. I mean, that we, we all knew that. What was unexpected, big man Kavon Looney who was ruled out for the series, will suit up and play tonight in game four. This is amazing. Now, Looney, he broke cartilage in his chest and rib region near the collarbone when the Warriors were in Toronto. But over the course of six days, his pain has become manageable. And about an hour ago, Looney looked pretty good getting up shots during warm-ups. Here's head coach Steve Kerr. The guy's just tough. He's tough and he wants to play. And, and uh, you know, the injury is in an area where it allows him to uh, uh, to move well enough to, uh, to give it a shot to play. All right, now, Veronica and Alan, we talked about this about a half hour ago on our KPIX webcast. This gives Steve Kerr some options with regards to starting rotation, substitutions, he can do all kinds of things with a big man in the lineup because the Warriors defensively have to find some way to stop Toronto's attack because they really lit it up last game, throwing up 17 three-pointers, doing whatever they wanted to do on the inside. And poor Steph Curry, 47 points. It seemed like he, he, he was playing by himself at times. But the Warriors got to do something. And come on, Looney in the lineup <laughs> and, and effective. Wow. That would yeah. be something. It was Curry versus the Raptors in the last game, but but this one is going to be one to watch. We're really excited. They got to stay out of foul trouble. Okay, Vern, KPI X Five's Wilson Walker's outside the arena. He's been talking to some fans about the Warriors' chances of pulling even on the series tonight. They're optimistic, I'm sure, Wilson. Well, Alan, the sports world is fertile ground for hyperbole, routine games that are sort of disgustingly overhyped. That is not the case out here. Game four of the NBA Finals, you're down two games to one. What could be the last game here in Oracle, the last game Oakland plays or played in Oakland, the stakes really could not be higher. So we thought we'd go ask folks, are you nervous and are you ready for what's next? You worried? No, not at all. Not, not at all. The Warriors are the champions and that's what champions do. They come through in adversity. Are you worried? Uh, a little bit. Certainly not panic time yet for the NBA's reigning dynasty, but the numbers are getting more complicated for the Warriors and their fans now facing one, maybe two more games at Oracle. I have a lot of memories uh, going to Warriors games, especially when I was a kid, when they weren't that great. It's been a ride. It's been a ride, for sure. It's been a ride, yeah. A ride that will end one way or the other for Oakland's pairing with the Warriors in the coming days, lose or win. This will be it here. But I mean, I know, you, I mean, you think of this as a loss for the town. Yes, it is, because both them are, and the Raiders are leaving. At the, you know, Raiders probably leave next year, but they're up to leave too. So it's just taking all the teams from us over here. I do. I feel a little bit of that. We feel a little sadness here at Oakland and City Hall, and we're going to miss the just the energy that comes with the Dubs being in, in the town. I know, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've been um, thinking about it. I grew up here. I'm from Oakland, so definitely uh, it's going to hurt. I'm going to be a little sad if they get beat. So on behalf of the town, here is hoping for the fonder farewell. You know, hopefully they pull it out so we can, you know, have at least one more championship over here in Oakland before they go. I'll be sad if they get beat. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much sums it up over here. So, you know, I think for the next couple hours, the, the, the sentimentality and, and the nostalgia and the, the real sort of grand citywide stakes might get set aside. 
it is time to play some basketball here at Oracle again. Oracle, uh, we are live at Oracle Arena, Wilson Walker, KPX5. Got an hour to go. All right, Wilson, thanks. Early today, devoted fans lined up near Lake Merritt in Oakland to take part in a morning rally. Many are embracing a sense of common purpose as the Warriors try to win another championship, and they are aware of the urgency heading into Game 4. Come on, you guys. Let's pull this out tonight. We need it. We need to tie it up, man. So I just came out here to be a part of the scene and just enjoy, enjoy the ambiance of the sports world. And we now know who has won a charity auction for a seat. Next to Mayor Libby Schaff at tonight's game, an Oakland auto shop owner made that winning bid for $7,600. His 15-year-old daughter will sit in the city's box suite with the mayor. And for her part, Schaff says that she plans to cheer hard. I think that uh, where we are right now in this series is actually going to be very motivational for them. They're going to have this whole city behind them tonight, and no one's going to be screaming louder than I will. Proceeds from the auction will go to Oakland Promise, a program that provides scholarships and mentors for college-bound kids.